Hey there, folks. How are you? It is Fox Horrific Aruni <laughs> back here again. And I just had a few journals I wanted to share. Um, this is I found on Amazon. It's called Made by Valerie. And it's sort of, I guess it's leather. <clears throat> I'm not sure, really. It has a nice little nautical traveling theme. I guess it's supposed to be sort of a travel journal, but let's see if I can show you. So we've got a little, I guess you call it an anchor charm, and then a, a ship's wheel. And they feel kind of, they're pretty sturdy, sort of <clears throat> like brass, I guess. And then we got this trap going around. And there's the back, which I think is, I like that sort of lashed look. But it's, you know, as you can see the where it was actually attached here. What do you call them? Grommets, whatever. But I like the lashing. This comes in a million different colors to choose from Amazon. And this is just my thoughts. My thoughts my lap here. It's about different stuff. I found it a little hard to write vertically because I like to, you know, really write literally long hand <laughs> in cursive. I have pretty big handwriting. So I ended up finding this way more comfortable. So of course you read it like this. And this is just some paper. It's, it's just tan paper. You, you can get a refill for it, which is nice. I grabbed a refill. And obviously this is a ring binder. And I like ring binders. Um, what's nice about them is I can, if I want it right this way, I can take the paper out, right? write on it and easily put it back in. I even own a typewriter. I could throw it in the typewriter and type away if I feel like doing that. So it's a nice book. I like the feel of it. It's kind of a nice size just to hold for holding. Uh, small artwork. This would be good. I don't know what these slots are for. I wonder if some anybody can inform me what I'm supposed to use these for. They're just sort of punched in there. And I don't know if you're supposed to put a pen through it or do you put a, this is for an elastic and it slides under to hold it on maybe. Now, what are these for, credit cards? <laughs> I don't know, uh, especially because it goes this way, so I don't know what they're for. Somebody please tell me. I appreciate it. So that is my journal journal that nobody's going to read until I die, <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh god, what a boring life. <laughs> She actually writes about the day she plucked her eyebrows. You know? <laughs> um, so this is a little bit more fun, I think. This is for posterity. Whoever, whoever cares about me when I'm dead, <laughs> you might want it. I found this book of poetry recently, and it's got some really beautiful illustrations in it but best of all it's got my favorite poems from childhood in it a lot of them 
So what I did was I went through and picked out the ones I liked the best, like the owl and the pussycat. And it's coming up. Here we go, owl and the pussycat. My grandmother used to read this to my brother and me when we were little. By Ever somebody Care, gave me know. this journal for Christmas. And I thought, well, this is pretty nice, so I'm going to put my poetry in here. So I decorated the edges, and here's uh, another a flower I just did. Let's see this. It's sort of, it's semi decorated already, and then there's scripture in it. So I sort of de-emphasized the scripture and put my own, did my own thing in it. And so these are my, let's see if I can. So there's the, these are the pages and I just sort of <coughs> did a floral thing. I just wrote on this. Just wrote on this page because these pages are lined very, very slightly, and the other pages are not. So I left them pretty much blank. This was already here. Excuse the noise, the cats are playing. <laughs> so there's the owl and the pussy cat, and then I did another one in a different style. This is called Pegasus by Ellen Eleanor. Fargian, I think. hope that's pronounced right. And I did this last night, and I wasn't going to attempt to draw Pegasus, and I didn't really think flowers would quite work, so I just did something pretty, very simple, very uncomplicated. And it just seemed like it. I hadn't heard of this poem, but it sounded interesting, because I'm very interested in Greek mythology, so it's, this is correct. The correct story of Pegasus from the blood of Medusa, Pegasus sprang. Absolutely correct. That's what's in the book. And so it's about um, how poets kind of understand. Only the poet with wings to his brain can mount him and ride him without any rain. The stallion of heaven, the steed of the skies, the horse of the singer who sings as he flies. I thought that was pretty cool. Now this one I decorated, <clears throat> actually I traced over the decorations lightly. I have to go back. I did it at night, my lighting was pretty bad, so I might go back. And we have Lewis Carroll, The Lobster Quadrille. This one, um, because the lines were very long, I decided not to do much my own decorating. This was already printed in the book, I just traced over it with marker and so lobster lobster quadrille what can I say <laughs> will you walk a little faster said a whiting to a snail there's a there's a porpoise close behind us and he's treading on my tail <laughs> so it's rather a long poem so I just kept it simple for decoration this was again I just traced over what was already on the book, just to add some color. This is, I just traced again. This was included in the book and there's some scripture, so I just kind of de-emphasized that. And again, I just traced that over. This one Oliphant, J.R.R. Tolkien. I think I like this page the most right now. Um, instead of writing in my usual uppercase and lowercase, I did... I think it's called Orator. Um, you have just... it's all uppercase, but the lowercase is um, smaller points. So this is your normal all caps. And that's <coughs> all caps, but then I used extra big capitals. And 
with flowers, the gray flowers kind of reflecting on the gray elephant. But that's a neat poem. And it took me longer to need to write it, this out because it's not my normal handwriting. I haven't written like this in a long time. My father used to write this way. He would either write in cursive or printing, as he called it. And his printing looked like this. Same idea. So he didn't really use lowercase letters when he printed. But, so I just thought that was kind of pretty. And that's what I have so far. Last spring, hmm, how do I how do I preface this? Again, I apologize for any noise. The cats are playing, <laughs> and they have all the rest of the house to play in. But of course, they come and find me and bug me. <laughs> uh, I my one of my hobbit hab. Hobbies. <laughs> One of my hobbies is puppetry, and I have a small collection of them. And in 07, I was on YouTube and I was making puppetry videos, you know. And so, you know, all these puppets have their own personalities and backstories and everything. And I thought last spring I'd just make it into a book, I'd have a dialogue with between the puppets. So I went and I drew all my puppets and wrote out conversations between them. So this is one puppet, her name is Mindy Peppermint. And this is available on Amazon. Mindy Peppermint, a being of plush ethnicity. And uh, I did all the artwork. So now I've got this artwork. These are drawings of the puppets. And this. So now I have the graphics on my computer and I'm going to use the graphics for more than just this book. I'm going to use them for other things. So some of these characters are my comedy characters that are on YouTube and others are drawings of the puppets, but they all know and inter, and they're all like friends with each other. So the book is about a puppet who interviews all her friends. So these are all the conversations that they have. So we've got one talking about unicorns and um, they're an expert and this is the this bird is the queen of all the puppets. <laughs> so anyway, I have this graphic left. This is a mysterious mouse called Mr. White, but that's not his real name, and nobody knows what his real name is. He's, but he is, um, what you say, an attaché to the queen. So I had this, the graphic of Mr. White, and I was trying to figure out how to reuse it because I really like it. And as you may have seen in my a previous video, I got a, a little book binding kit and you put together these books with the spines. Well, I needed something for the cover. Yesterday, I learned how to do this, to do this tiling effect. And this is Mr. White. So there we have Mr. White looking very mysterious. <laughs> and <clears throat> yeah, I had to Google and find out how to do it. I didn't really know how to ask the question. But essentially, you use your, your word program and it, you go into um, background, background colors and you choose if you want to, you, you provide your own image and you make sure that the, uh, you check the box that, that says print background, very important. 
And so that's what I did. I just went and found my Mr. White graphic on the computer and I put it in Word and it tiles it automatically. Um, you can't adjust the tiling. The only way you could adjust it would be when you make the graphic, make it this, whatever size you want it to be then and save it that way. So this was a JPEG and you know, JPEGs are very tiny. Um, and so I don't know what the dimensions of this thing are, is dimensions of this thing is are. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk, <laughs> but <clears throat> you have to play with it. Just play with it until you get the size that you like. I like this a lot. I'm not done with it. <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm going to take the same graphic and not tile it, print it. Actually, I've already printed this out and it's bigger. So what I would do is cut it out around this size, maybe a little smaller, and then just put it in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. And so it's, you've got a tiny mouse border around the actual mouse. And I have some washi tape coming. I'm not sure if the colors are going to work, but I do have some pink. And if it looks good, I'm going to put that around the edges. I'm also going to unbind this and color in this, the brown part um, black. <clears throat> so it will, it'll blend in with the, with the coils. So it'll just look like it's all kind of black. And then I have the back side to do. And then I have the inside to do. I don't want to see any more of this brown chipboard. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll co color this, the black, this part black too. So, but it's a start and I really love that. I've got my own artwork on here and that it looks professional. Because I used to be a rubber stamper when in the 80s. I used to, I loved it, but now it's all become a big copyright thing. And yeah, you can get what are called angel stamps, but I still, I guess I'm just over rubber stamps because I look at them and I go, well, that's not my artwork. <clears throat> and I can draw something. I, I can figure out how to draw that myself. So I would, right at this point in my life, I would rather just draw it myself. And if it looks crummy, it looks crummy. I drew it myself. And so I have some, you know, that makes me, I have some, a sense of pride, I guess. You can look at my lovely lavender nail polish. I never put nail polish on, never. I mean, it's been like years since I last wore any. But I thought, well, if I'm be making these videos that just show my hands, I may as well have a little fun with some nail polish. So this is sort of a, a lavender. I'm not sure if I do lavender very well. It, sometimes I like it and sometimes it looks sort of gray. I'm <clears throat> kind of old school about nail polish. I just can't wrap my mind around having green or blue nails. To me that looks like you're, you're sick. Uh, yellow nails would be like you have maybe a nail fungus or <laughs> something. Uh, I can't do that. Um, I can do pastels. I can do um, things that are in pink tones. So this is about as unusual a color as I will go. I like, and I don't like dark colors either. So something that will kind of blend in with my skin tones, but just look a little neater than maybe raggedy or dirty nails. So I got another bottle that's uh, kind of a peach. I love peach. Peach is good. Um, I don't know about glittery gold. That might be okay. Hmm. I don't know about the metallics. No black, no blue, no green, no yellow. 
uh, none of the primary colors, none of the secondary colors. Pastels. <laughs> oh, but I do like the little um, designs you can get. Like if they had little um, a tape with little bitty flowers on it or something, that would be cute to put on or however they work. Anyway, fingernails. So I dressed up my fingernails just for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.